Okay, so in this video, I'm going to show you how quickly you can get up and running with a Bricks Builder, Advanced Thema, Advanced Thema Framework, and a few other plugins without using a Blueprint site. So this is starting from absolute fresh installing WordPress, installing the plugins, and getting up and running with a framework you're ready to use. So I'm going to start with using ZipWP. You could use Local by uh, Was Flywheel now WP Engine. Or you could use InstaWP or whatever you use. I'm going to use ZipWP here as a quick environment to just spin up a WordPress website. So I'm going to start by creating new, a blank website, give it a name. In this case, I'm just going to call it Test for Video. And I'm just going to call this Test uh, ATF uh, Video. And you can leave it on a zip domain, or I've got a my own domain that I've added to here. Create site, and this is going to run off in, in the background and spin up a blank WordPress website. And it takes seconds, like I'm almost done here, sits on 90 for a little bit, it won't take much longer. And we've got a WordPress site ready to go. So I'm going to do my one click login. Okay, and there we are. Now, the first thing I always do is go into my posts, get rid of that. Hello World posts, go into my plugins and get rid of the dummy default plugins that are installed. So delete those. So we're starting from absolute scratch here. Okay, now I'm going to install Bricks first because I've got the license for Bricks on my clipboard. Uh, so you're going to need to license it to use it. So I'm going to install Bricks first. So I'm going to go into my parents and themes. And I'm going to add my Bricks theme, upload. By the way, I'm using a laptop with a trackpad, so if I can do it this quickly, you can do it a lot more quickly than what I'm doing here. Still stuck in an Airbnb, by the way, guys. Okay, so I'm going to activate Bricks. Um, we're going to activate the license. Uh, I've got that on the clipboard, so you can't see it. Paste it in there, activate that license. Um, and I'm just going to miss dismiss this here. Now I'm going to go and install my other bits and pieces, so my plugins I'm going to install. I'm going to add the downloaded plugins first. Okay, so the first downloaded plugin I'm going to get will be my Happy Files Pro, which I install on every site. Go to the plugin installer, I upload my plugins here. My next one, which would be WP Code Box. Again, I install that on every site. The reason I'm not activating here is I just want to get them all installed first, and it's quicker to just install them before activating. Okay, uh, and my Bricks Advanced Thema, install that. And go to Plugin Installer. Now, a couple of commercial ones I'm going to use. Uh, I'm going to use FakerPress to create some fake posts. Okay, this is one that you don't put a space in. Install that. And the other one I'm going to install is Instant Images. So we can get some royalty-free images just for playing around. So install that. Okay, now I'm going to go into my plugins, select the whole lot, and just activate them. It's a lot quicker than activating them as you install them, and they're all activated. Now, we go into my bricks, go into my settings, and do some basic settings. So, typically, I would allow SVG uploads for the administrator. I will go through and leave the top two, en top two enabled. I use SEO press, whatever you use. I want to, so I want to disable the SEO in here. I want some custom image sizes. We only want to add IDs if we need them. I want to leave the skip links enabled. They're good for a 11 y I like smooth scroll. I don't like having delete brick starter. It's too dangerous. Uh, and we can have query brick starter in search results. I believe it slows down your search results a little bit, but it's better than having to sync them all with uh, Gutenberg, like yeah, up here, for example. Okay. 
I'm not worried about forms. Uh, I'm not going to use filters here. I'm not going to use custom breakpoints. That's all I need on this page. Okay, I'm not going to worry about builder access templates. I like having my template screenshots and a thumbnail. Why aren't you selecting? This is my trackpad not playing well with me. Uh, and then I'll go to my builder. Uh, and in here, I'm going to change this to the dashboard. Open a new tab. The reason I do that is because I've got in advanced SEMA a way of previewing. I'm not going to worry about any of these other things for the moment. Always disable your element spacing so you don't accidentally add spacing and margins in pixels. Just enable all these here for now. You can always disable those later. Leave the other settings here. We want to import SVGs on insert. Leave all this other stuff here. I like rendering the data on the canvas. I disable the uh, custom WordPress fields because I'm not using them. And I like to sync global classes in case I'm working with another developer. Okay, that's those. Performance, this is like uh, do it if you don't do it. I normally disable emojis, disable embeds. I won't disable Google Fonts here. I normally do, and I normally upload them. But since we're just using this for a practice site, I'll leave that. I disable the lazy loading because I knew I use um, a version of WP Rocket called um, Accelerate WP, which has that in there. We disable our jQuery migrate. We're going to our query loops. Disable the chaining. Leave these as they are. I would normally wrap my styles in a layer, which is an option at the moment. I believe in version 2.0, it's not going to be an option. It'll be enabled by default. Uh, I normally do that, but I'm going to leave that out so we make sure that our framework still works, even though Bricks is not reducing its specificity on its CSS. So we're going to leave that as it is. Uh, and that is it. No, it's not it. Going to custom code. We're going to enable the execution for administrators and just leave all that. Save settings. That's our Bricks stuff. Okay, advanced SEMA, we're going to leave pretty much on our default settings, except for we're going to go into our builder tweaks and make sure on the structure panel we have sticky CSS, which is a new feature enabled, which I like. And in the classes and styles, we're going to enable our uh, color picker, which is the new AT color picker. Save settings. Okay, now we're going to create a page. Let's call this our test page. It's completely blank, so we're going to go into the AT uh, framework. We're going to toggle all the variables on, toggle all of the classes on. Uh, uh, colors, I should say, toggle all of the classes on, toggle on our theme styles, oh, that didn't work, there we go, toggle on our global CSS, toggle on our recipes, hit save, and we wait for the save, that didn't work, hit save, and that's done, we don't have to hit save up here because it's already done, so you see if I enter a section now, I've already got my top and bottom uh, padding and my sides, if I add a block here, um, I can change that to a grid, and maybe it's an autofill grid, just start typing fill, it's an autofill grid, it's automatically filling the grid. Uh, I can um, add a text box, which is not by default turned on there. Let's just turn that in there. A rich text and a text link. Save that. Might want to reorder these. Okay, so we've got a text box here. Um, I'm going to show you a couple of utilities in here. Actually, I'll duplicate that out. So on the first one, it's going to show you the align clamp. Actually, sorry. I, yep, there we go. So I'm going to show you the line clamp on here. So on that, we're going to add a whole bunch of extra text. Okay, I'm going to add a line clamp. I'm going to clamp that to four lines. Okay, on this one here, we're going to turn that into bullets. And we're going to add a couple of utilities, which will be the UL uh, SVG padding small. Uh, so UL padding small, UL SVG icon. And what are we going to add to this? SVG heart. 
And we've just turned our bullets into hearts using an SVG icon. So heaps of stuff here. The colors you've got in the color manager. I'm just going to expand this out a little bit so we get more space. Colors are here. So you've got your AT framework colors. So I can select a color set here, for example. And make that a color set. And let's make that a color set of make our primary D3. And you can see that's all working there. Uh, and if we change our colors, we've got the AT framework on by default. You can turn the default one off and maybe enable that. Eh, didn't turn it off. Sorry, my trackpad is not always working. And turn on the purple version. So we've got control of our colors, control of our grids, control of our spacing, uh, control of colors, everything is all ready to go. So that's how quickly you can get up and running. Uh, I think it's pretty cool, and uh, I'm going to leave it at that.